Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. This is the long dark. And uh, if this video goes up, that means it worked. Usually whenever I go and record the long dark, I don't know, this recording software is weird. Either, and I know it's not the long dark that's being weird. There was always this weird lighting uh, thing. It might be, it might happen when I go outside. So I've already searched that. I don't need that. Line. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what am I looking for? My. Okay, so 27 kilograms. Take stock on food. Pretty much wearing everything that I have. I do have a rifle, which is good. Um, okay, so a couple things. Okay, I'm hungry and stuff. Right now I'm in the, um, the administrative building. Four. One eighty-eight. That's not much. Let's not drink our water quite yet. Good. Good. Ah, that's like the only thing I have to eat. I'm not gonna eat it all, obviously. I just don't think. Yeah, I didn't eat it all. Was it? All right. So let's get outside. Hopefully this works. I'm hoping, hoping it works. Oh. Yes, it is working. Now my frames, they <clears throat> on the game, uh, they're hovering right around 30, which is. Odd. And like I said, this recording software is... It, it's a bit weird. Um, I have to bootleg. Okay. Oh. I just get the rifle ready. <coughs> um, but yeah, there was always this weird lighting glitch. I guess they fixed it? Or I have the latest version of the recorder. It's free. It's like a bootleg thing. It's actually not that bad. It comes with um, a free sample of the um, the editing software um, I do have to pay for that um, I'll probably end up buying something uh, some recording software I need to okay, he's running away from me that's interesting unless there's a bear you know next to me or something like that this rifle does look like a Lee infield though I've always been interested in what kind of rifle it is it's got when you load it full um, it's got two stripper clips, both at five. It's got that integrated magazine. It just looks like a Lee Enfield. I'm not sure if it is, though. Um, I've already started this game, kind of. Um, I almost died. I almost froze to death in the beginning. Um, I spawned somewhere up in... Yeah. Hope I can still eat this. Sardine. <laughs> um, if you're wondering why the game is in uh, Ruski, that is because I'm in the process of learning Russian, and um, it's, uh, Whisk. Water. Yeah, the new looting system gets me every time. I'm used to clicking and then going through the looting animation. Is it really looting though? I, th I call it searching. Because that's that, I mean, that's what it says I'm doing. Um, I think ice breaks now. So I don't know how dangerous this lake is. 
because I remember I was on the coastal, uh, the coastal map. If you haven't, if if you played this game, um, the coastal map. If you haven't, sorry, if you haven't played the game, the coastal map is uh, it's actually a really nice map. I did random start and I ended up in Mystery Lake, so um, yeah, that's that. Uh, but I was talking at the beginning of the game. Uh, I almost died. I spawned somewhere in the wilderness. Um, I kind I know Mystery Lake pretty good at this point. Um, but I was freezing to death on my way uh, to the dam. I had searched the dam. I was able to get a rifle, as you can tell. No, it's down. Um, which is nice. Which is nice. It paid off in the end. And there was no wolf. Sometimes there's a wolf in the dam. And it, it's, it's pretty scary. Because the lighting in this game is beautiful. Now, words like that. Funny enough, it used to be just uh, I won't, I won't um, embarrass myself with my attempts to read that. Reading is sometimes a little hard for me, especially when the words are really big, <laughs> like like the ones for uh, metal container. But yeah, generally I'm trying to... I read uh, Wikipedia articles. Well, I was taking an online class for my second semester in my junior year of high school. It's summer right now, so... But, um... So, I took an online class, and... Usually, instead of doing my studies, I would be practicing Russian and other said language. I did most of my research in Spanish and Italian because uh, Russian, when reading it, I can kind of, like, kind of get it. Like, that's why I put the long and dark into Russian because there's a lot of simple words in long and dark that doesn't need um, a lot of adjectives to uh, like to explain what it's um, what the noun is. To escape this cold. So I mean, generally, you can get some pretty easy reading in Russian. Now, plastic container and metal container; those are some, those are bigger words. Yeah, those are really big words compared to Poitsk and well, that that's pretty big as well. And a backpack, which is rucksack. I might be saying that wrong, but it, it sounds a lot like um, rucksack. And then that's another thing about Russian. It, there's a lot of cognates, which is like uh, when a word sounds the same in two different languages. Kind of like in Spanish and French, or Spanish and English, or French and English. Um, yeah, um... A lot of the uh, European languages, except for Finnish, I think Norwegian. I'm not sure. I can't remember because um, one of my friends, he uh, he was in the Baltics, uh, studying Russian with University of North Georgia. I think that is what it's called. Okay, it's either North Georgia, Georgia University, or University of North Georgia. I know they're like two different things. Anyway, we're going to try to warm up here before we head back out. But, uh, I'm at 14 kilo. Oh, there we go. That's my actual kilogram. Oh, and it's up here, too. You probably can't see my mouse, because I know in uh, in this root thing. So, 32 out of 30 kilograms, almost. 33 kilograms. Let's see. What can I drop? What can I drop? I've got some pretty heavy duty um, boots. Repania. Unit. Unt. Unti. I said that wrong at first. Prilishnya. Okay, so. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Uh, I need to try to not do that while I'm recording. 
I don't know. I'll try to read as fast as I can. It might help being able to read faster. I can't read the cursive quite yet. And that's... I can't... I can... I can't write in it either. I, think I can sign my name. Uh, my Russian name, anyway. I give myself a Russian name. Inspired after um, Metro. Speaking of Metro, that Metro Exodus looks fantastic. Metro is probably one of my favorite, um, like, single-player, like, campaign-driven games I've played in a really long time. Oh, nothing. Yeah, Metro, Metro is super... I still haven't beat Last Line yet. Because the only, the only mode that I've played, uh, Metro on is, uh, the Ranger Hardcore mode. I haven't played it on literally any other difficulty. <laughs> I beat 2033, and that, that was a fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, around the, like, the morality of, uh, killing in that game. It's frostbite. Is that frostbite? Frostbite where, though? I couldn't... Is that... I don't care. We will... I know... It's, I only know... A couple of... Um... Body parts in Russian. Ruka, which is arm. I think that's it. Pretty much only no arms. Ruka. I don't know the word for head. I I used to know the word for head, but I can't remember it. But um, in other languages, I study like Spanish. The the only languages I've taken in school were uh, French and Chinese. I'm taking Chinese again next year, because Chinese is actually pretty cool. I like it a lot, actually. It's um, I like Chinese a lot. Um, I find speaking it is not that bad. Not that bad. Like, some, a lot of people in my class, they had problems with the... Chinese is a very tonal language. language. There's, um, four tones? I can't remember if there's, like, she talked about, like, a tone that's not as common, or whatever. Uh, there's four tones. Um, for example, like, uh, ma. Ma. Okay, so... When, when, I don't know how to explain this without, like, teaching you. <laughs> it, it's weird. Chinese is weird. I don't know if I'm going the right way, actually. No, I'm not going the right way, actually. I need to learn, ah, uh, freaking, what's it called? Northeast, southwest, and Russian. I need to do that as well. Cause I think oh, if I well, I've ended up not where I wanted to be. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I went in a circle. So instead of dying trying to get back to where I started, I'm just gonna go hang out in here. Food display. My navigational skills. That's an. What was I talking about? Oh, ch the Chinese. So like, mm, there's like a flat tone, a sharp tone. Like, it the way you think of it, it's like a question. So like, instead of ma ma, it's ma. You know, it's like it's higher. And then there's um, I don't know if it's the fourth tone, but it. It's the fourth tone in context of what I'm speaking. Um, it's like, it goes down and dips back up. So, like, it's it's a little weird. Uh, I, I've spoken Chinese a couple of times outside of outside of class. We run into Chinese-speaking people. No. None of those. I think it'd be in here. Yes, it is. I can remember where the, uh, I knew they had a wait thing. I guess I'll wait an hour. Mm. 
Yeah, okay. So, I can't remember what that was in English, and I think it's... It's probably not the same thing in Russian, because direct translations are weird, especially in Chinese. I find Chinese is... Um, I mean, the reason why they have bad grammar is they don't have articles. Like, when they speak English, they don't have, they, they don't have good grammar. Same with Russians, actually. Or Slavic languages. I don't know if it's true for all Slavic languages. Because I know there's a couple Latin-based Slavic languages. Like Slovak and Polish and Estonian and Lithuanian. I think Lithuanian is the language. At least I hope it is, and I just didn't, you know, embarrass myself. Those, those, those are all um, Latin alphabet. And then everything east of that pretty much is um, Cyrillic. And I, I can read, uh, I can read the the Cyrillic alphabet pretty much with any language. Um, I, it's, it's, or, it's, I see. I don't know enough of the other Slavic languages to differentiate the. I'm, gonna, I'm probably I'm gonna check the weather at least. Um, differentiate Russian from like Ukrainian, for example, which is kind of kind of crucial to um, to not offending anybody. Um, at my job, I worked at a supermarket, and I would speak Russian to Russian-speaking customers. Not necessarily. I had only met like three or four Russians. The rest were um, Belarusian, Bela, Belarusian, Ukrainian. Ah, I think that was it. Just Belarusian and Ukrainian, actually. Um, and, you know, they, they would be extremely responsive. Uh, they seemed to like the fact that I was speaking Russian. So, I, you know, I never thought about the whole Ukrainian-Russian, like, problem. Don't call like, Ukrainian or Russian, vice versa. Or don't call Sla Eastern Slavs Russians, actually. I don't know. It seems weird to me. I just call them Eastern European. <laughs> but, um... Because everyone is extremely nationalist um, in Eastern Europe. Like, and I think the nationalist was the word I was looking for. Everyone's kind of like, you know, they love their country, which is, I mean, hey, I don't care. I love my country, too. But um, one, one family had come in, and going back to my knowledge, or my lack of knowledge of um, the other Slavic languages. I couldn't differentiate Ukrainian from Russian. Actually, I could. If you said hello, I would know you're speaking Ukrainian to me. Um, but it, they obviously didn't say hello to me in Ukrainian. Any, anyway. Um, they, they came up and I heard them speaking... I, I didn't assume it was Russian, but I assumed they understood Russian, and they did. But they didn't they didn't like it. Um, in fact, uh, in I understood it. Probably I don't, see the problem. Is, um, I don't know if he thought that I was Russian or that I was just an American speaking Russian to him, and. He, you know, he, he looked up at me, um, he didn't look too, um, pleased with the fact that I just spoke to him in Russian, and, uh, he said, don't talk to my family, and I was like, Ugh. okay, so I said sorry, um, and I, yeah, I didn't really have enough time to tell him that I'm just an American, and, like, and I'm not actually Russian, because when I spoke to him, like other Russian speakers, they would always um, like uh, my accent is actually pretty good. Yeah. Not in the opinion of me, but in the opinion of the, those who I speak to. They, you know, they're always genu generally surprised when they think I'm when I tell them I'm American. Anyway, but um, yeah, uh, I don't know if he thought I was like oh, I didn't search this. Um, I guess he thought I was Russian, and he didn't take the liking to me, I guess. Yeah, and then every day after that, he pretty much, um, 
Well, his family stayed away from me, and he stayed away from me whenever he came in. So, yeah. I've had some bad experiences. And, uh, I mean, they're... And I hate, I hate guessing who's speaking Chinese and who's speaking another Asian language. Because, um, my Japanese isn't good and I don't know any Korean. But when I see Asians speaking, you know, maybe their mother language or something like that. You know, it, uh, I would like to converse with them in Chinese. Like, for example, when I went to MEPS, when I was sent down to MEPS for the, uh, for the army. Um, we stayed in a really, uh, it was a, it was a nice hotel. It was a nice hotel. There was, um, it was kind of late whenever I was done with testing and we, because I had to do the ASVAB again when I got to MEPS, because I don't know what happened to my PiCat verification test, and if you don't know what the PiCat is, it's pretty much just electronic ASVAB. But, um, so I ended up taking the ASVAB. I got the same score, so that's why I was confused. Um... That's what I would... There we go. I don't mind wasting around. Um, see, I don't know if I shot him. I don't see any blood. Anyway, um, I was at MEPS. We get in the hotel after a oh lot testing. Um, we got to the hotel. The, that wasn't um, medical. Medical was the second day for me. But, um... Can't feel my feet. Yes, I know. Still in my way. I think that was a hit, maybe. Um. Anyway, uh, we uh, I'd met a couple of people while I was there, and we were hanging out as we were going into the hotel. Please to rest. And uh, I saw some Asians. Asians. They were speaking. Um, it was a fairly large group of Asians, and they were all speaking. I'm not going here. What's happening? I think I'm going to glitch right now, maybe. There we go. I did just get a little glitched. Um, and they were speaking whatever Asian language. I'm going to assume it was Vietnamese. Because I walked up and... Like, they're, they're, I think they're having a business meeting. It was kind of... Radio. No, see, that's what I mean. Cognate. But, um... They're speaking. I walked up. And I said, Because I didn't know how to say, like... Or all... I knew how to say we. But it'd be odd to say, like... Are we speaking Chinese? Um... But I mean, that could have made sense. But anyway, that's not the point. Uh... They all pretty much turn at once like Muppets like their shoulders were turned towards me and like all of them just looked at me and I'm pretty sure they didn't speak Ch they weren't speaking Chinese and they didn't speak Chinese but I said um, I said I'm sorry anyway and just walked away and then that wasn't the only time that a Chinese couple an Asian couple were walking by me and um, I introduced myself and they were like uh, we don't speak Chinese and I was like god Dang it, that, that really busted my balls. It, it's embarrassing moments like that. that <laughs> uh, especially when um, I speak, like when I, when I was first learning um, Russian. I'm tired. I'm, mm, how much daylight do I have left? Oh, they have the new clock thing now. Yeah, okay, we'll get the fire going. Gorushi. Maslo Dilia Lamp. Lamp oil, maybe. I don't know. It's weird about Russian. The No, that's actually not. But when you say like lamp oil, it's like oil first, then the lamp. It's like it's like oil's an adjective in a sense. Now I'm not gonna mess around. I'm going to use my accelerant. Oh, that's the charcoal. I should have read what I was doing. I don't want to use that. That's fine. Now I just have charcoal, I guess. I don't know what charcoal is. That should help warm things up. 
four, though. It's not in the fire section. I just drop it. So we got 24 minutes. We'll... Okay, this is good. Because I, I don't know if the torch will keep me warm while I'm outside. I don't really care that... Um, that I'm tired, I just want to know. It doesn't yeah, seem thirsty. That... Helpful, actually. Okay. I think it's maybe because the wind's blowing. I don't know. The weather system in this game is pretty, it's pretty accurate. But it kind of sucks that. There we go. That's what I wanted. It's like left click. Right click. Mm -hmm. I, th I think the torch can keep you warm. It just depends. Because I. Hmm. I don't know. Well, that was kind of. Oh, it's good to know that a torch doesn't even help. I'm so tired, I can just lay down right here. Yeah, so we got an hour and thirty minutes. Hmm. I think herbal tea is the one that helps you sleep, but we won't make that quite yet. Tomato soup. We'll cook that up. Eat that. Have some water. Uh, we'll melt some snow. Melt like a liter. Probably. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. I think I'll get up Mystery Lake. I don't know if I'm going to stay here for as long as I can. Nazad. Food. Tomato soup. Yes. It, that's actually interesting. My friend who... Um, back from the Baltics. He didn't... He kind of went to Russia. He went to Gruzia. Uh, Estonia. I don't know if he went to Estonia, actually. I actually don't know where he went. Now that I think... I mean, he might have been Estonia. But I know he went to Georgia. The country. And he said... That... Not, not in Georgia, but in the Baltics. Uh, where they speak Russian, primarily. Um, he said that they don't say est, like the verb est, which is like to eat. They say kushit, kushit, which I don't know if, I mean, I, I, I don't think he's a liar, I just, I don't know, it's weird to me, never, never heard of that. I don't think I have a hatchet. I can break it down by hand, though. That's kind of lame, but I'll do it anyway. Mmm. Beat. Spot. Yes. I think I have that written down. Hmm. Interesting. But, um... I guess I'll end it here. Uh, there's no reason to film me going to sleep, I presume, anyway. Um... Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm definitely going to make this a series, uh, Long Dark. I really enjoy this game. If you like survival games, this is definitely the game for you. It's a, it's a game for me. Um, it's definitely uh, a different kind of survival. Uh, it's more about the wilderness aspects of things, this game. Um, and I've, I've got a decent amount of hours in this game. Um, I've played a lot, actually. I Well, I used to, and then they updated updated it quite a lot, and it looks a lot better now. It runs a lot better. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you haven't checked this game out, you definitely should. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Papa Bless, and peace.